Thanks, Leah. Um, I was just curious with, with kind of all the starts and stops and pauses and canceled games as, as a quarterback, when it seems like kind of rhythm and, and gaining confidence is so important. Like, like how, how, how have you navigated that and tried to stay steady when, when everything around you is not? Um, you know, I think the best thing for me to do is just continue to work, you know, fix my mistakes that, that happened, um, you know, the week of the Indiana game and, you know, continue to improve on, on what happened and, um, you know, just continue to work. That's what, uh, all it is. And when, when practice, I know it's been a while, but when practices were paused, what, what were you able to do individually with your teammates? How did you try to, um, you know, keep practicing even when you couldn't do it with the team? Um, as far as like, like, like back when, back when practices were paused for like a, a week and a half and then you guys were just dealing with that really, uh, uncertain time um what what did you keep doing to stay sharp oh yeah um you know during practices i try to fix um you know my mistakes from the indiana game um, whether it was decision making you know we had a lot of walkthrough time and a lot of meeting time so you know it was it was good you know just being being at practice and being in the film room with um the coaches you know just kind of trying to polish up everything getting ready for um Rutgers. We'll go to Scott Abraham. Hey, Talia, good to see you as always. Um, last game of the regular season, three and two versus two and three. Obviously a big difference there. How big of a game is this to kind of build upon for next year and years to come in terms of cultivating that winning mentality and finishing with a winning record? Oh, yes, sir. It's, it's very big. Um, you know, of course, we want to finish undefeated at, at home at the show. And um, like you said, finish the season off on in a winning record. Um, so, you know, we got a, a, a good challenge ahead of us and you know, I'm looking forward to it. I know it's also senior day and obviously the seniors have meant a lot to this program. What are the seniors meant to you? And, and do you guys kind of talk about that of trying to send the seniors out the right way here on Saturday? Um, yes, sir. You know, we, we got to send the, the, um, the seniors out the right way. And um, they meant a lot to this team. You know, they're all great leaders and you know that's that's who it starts with the, the older guys and they lead us like guys on our side like you know Johnny Jordan, Marcus, um, Jake Funk, just name a few and you know, they make a big impact to our offense and, and just our team the way they lead at practice and um, how they carry themselves off the field. So Thanks, we got to take them off the right way. We'll go to Jacob Steinberg. Hey, Talia, obviously you guys wanted to play last week against uh, Michigan, you and the coaching staff, and coming off a performance where the offense didn't execute the way you wanted to against Indiana, just how beneficial has the added preparation time been preparing for Rutgers? Well, it's been very beneficial, you know, especially for me and the performance I, I put up. Um, but, you know, we, we just we just been continuing to work hard and, um, you know, fix the things that we, that we messed up on. And uh, we got a lot of guys coming back as well, so... You know, I feel like our, our whole team is coming back together. And, um, yeah, it's, it's just been good. Hopefully we can go out Saturday and send the seniors off the right way. And you just mentioned it. Obviously, a lot of the guys are going to be coming back. So how exciting is that for you, considering you haven't really had pretty much all the guys in game action in probably about a month at this point? Um, yes, sir. It's very exciting, you know, um, especially for Jake Funk. Like him and uh, Fleet, you know, they're both seniors. So it's happy that they get to – to end the season off the right way at home. Thanks, Leah. Yes, sir. We'll go to Andy Casca. Hey, Talia. Uh, coach was talking about the, the practice after Michigan, Mich the Michigan game got canceled. You kind of took a light approach to it. Do you remember that practice and, and kind of him on the mic and, and commentating things like that? And, and did that stand out to you? As, as, like, what, what stood out to you about that? Um, I, it was just it was just very fun, competitive practice, and. Um, you know, Coach Locks was a very good commentator, and we had uh, music going on everywhere. And it was just, it was very fun, too, because, you know, he gave the ones less reps, but he gave the twos and threes a lot of reps. So it was kind of fun to see the offense and defense go at it. And we had this uh, point system, you know, every play counts. So, you know, it was just fun to see everyone have fun and compete, knowing that, you know, we're still in play that, that week. It's, it's been a while, but did he have any? Uh, lines while commentating that that were hilarious to you or anything like that. He he was saying some voices and some things I never heard and you know, I never thought he would say before. So, I mean, hopefully, 
hopefully we can have a, another practice like that. Um, you know, it was just fun and, and competitive. And yeah, Coach Locks, he's, he's a character. Thanks, man. We'll go to Wes Brown. Hey, Talia. Um, so I kind of want to ask, uh, how big of an impact has Johari Branch made on this team so far this year, and what, what sort of makes him such a special player? Um, yes, sir. Johari Branch, you know, he's a very physical, aggressive person, and, um, you know, he he's just a, a, a really good person, and, um, you know, he brings a lot of energy to the to the O-line, and, um, you know, he's just, he, he always been a big impact since he stepped on um, on campus since I met him. And, um, you know, he's a very hard worker. He always wants to learn and thinking about him, he always wants to go against the best. And um, that's one thing that, you know, I, I like about Jahari. And um, not only him, our whole O-line, you know, they're very competitive and they hold each other to a standard, you know, to not get me hurt <laughs> or not get me hit. And, um, you know, whenever, whenever their, their number's called, whether it's running the ball or pass blocking, you know, they're, they're going to do it to the best of their abilities. And if one messes up, you know, they're on each, they're on each other. So, you know, it's, yeah. And just as a follow-up, how much confidence does it give you um, as a quarterback to know you, like, he's one of those guys protecting you? Oh, it gives me, gives me a lot of confidence. You know, after every time we win a game, I, I bought all them donuts <laughs> from Dunkin' Donuts. You know, I got to treat them. Thanks. Thanks, sir. We'll go to Ed Lee. Presumably, you'll have guys like Jake and Rakim and Jay Sean and Johnny Jordan back for this game. Um, as a member of the offense, how comforting is it to know that you'll have those guys back for Rutgers? Um, uh, it makes me feel good. You know, our guys are, are coming back and um, guys that are comfortable with the system. Um, even though Rack's young, he's very comfortable with the system. And as well as Johnny, you know, he's a big part of our, our, um, our offense. You know, he's the center. He's basically the quarterback for the O-line. So it's, I think it's going to be um, kind of what, what we're all used to as far as, um, you know, personnel and, and who's in and stuff like that. But I think it's going to be a lot, a lot better. So, yeah, how, how is this season, you know, especially one that's been impacted so much by the coronavirus epidemic, pandemic, how much has it, you know, changed what you thought a normal, typical football season would be? Um, I mean, I, th I think it's just, different because the fans and the crowd and um, the band and stuff are not there. But, you know, it's, I think, I mean, I, I kind of enjoy, you know, playing football without the fans and stuff like that, just because, you know, it's just strictly football and, and nothing else. But, um, you know, I, I enjoy the Big Ten football and, you know, I'm looking forward to, to next season. Hopefully everything going back to normal. Thank you. We'll go to Alex Flom. Hey, Talia, how are you? What's up? I'm doing good. How about you? Pretty good. Um, you know, I, you the last time, you know, before the Indiana game, you guys had a loss. You came back with, you know, two amazing performances. What, what you know, now that you've had all this time to prepare the past couple weeks, what can we expect from you um, specifically on the field on Saturday? Well, you know, every game I'm just trying to go out there and, and do my job and um, limit the mistakes and just lead my team to victory. And that's, you know, whether I, I, I do as good as I did in the Minnesota and Penn State game or if I'm handing off the ball, you know, whatever it takes for our team to win, that's, that's all that matters, you know, sending out the seniors right. Um, and a, and a follow-up for you, uh, unrelated to the team, um, you know, following the AFC playoff race, how invested are you, you know, in the Dolphins' chances out there in the AFC? Um, so I, I haven't even looked like that, the chances and stuff. But I hope they go to the playoffs, you know, just because, you know, I'm supporting my brother and stuff like that. But, um, yeah, I think they do have a good team. I think their defense is, is really good. And, um, you know, hopefully their offense can click. You know, they had the Chiefs this week, so <laughs> Patrick Mahomes. But, you know, I think I think they'll be good. All right. Thanks, Talia. Good luck on Saturday. Yes, sir. Thank you. Go to David Barnes. Hey, good afternoon, Tulia. Uh, earlier this uh, afternoon, Coach talked about how impressed he was about the example you were setting for the other players with your actions, um, not so much your words, but just by the work ethic you have and watching film. How aware of doing things like that were have you been over the 
past couple months? And was there someone that you observed to learn that from? Um, well, you know, after the, the Northwestern game, um, Coach Locks was actually the one, you know, he, he taught me how to prepare and, you know, basically what it takes. And, um, you know, ever since then, my, my parents always told me, you know, to lead by example and not more so by, you know, words and stuff like that. So Coach Locks, <clears throat> you know, we came up with a plan that, you know, I'm going to stay after and, and watch film and all with each other. And when we're not watching film with each other, I have to watch film with um, by myself. And he holds me accountable by, by you know, he, he tells me, by the time we, we meet the next time, I want you to have this written down, this found out, this you know, on second down, third down, and stuff like that. And um, but just on the field, you know, I just continue to to always earn earn our players respect every day. You know, every day is a new day, and um, you know, you're only as good as your your last practice or your last game. So every day, I want to continue to just work hard and and um, you know, everyone else, we all push each other too. So it's good. Thanks.